but an algebraic expression for each of the scenarios below. Before we do this, let's review how to find the percent of an amount. To find the percent of an amount or of a whole, we write the percent as a decimal and then multiply the percent as a decimal by the whole amount. So looking at the first scenario, you decide to leave a 17% tip for dinner. Determine the amount of money you would need to tip if the bill for dinner is D dollars, which means we need an expression for 17% of D because D is the bill amount. So we convert 17% to a decimal and then multiply by D. To convert 17% to a decimal, we remove the percent symbol and then move the decimal point to the left two places. Right now the decimal point is to the right of the seven. Move it left two places, we have 0.17 or 0 0.17. Another option is to remove the percent symbol and then divide by 100, which would also give us 0 0.17. So 17% of D is 0 0.17 times D, which we normally write as 0 0.17 D. Next, if sales tax is 8.5%, write an algebraic expression representing the amount of sales tax you would have to pay for an item that costs X dollars. Which means we need an expression for 8.5% of the total cost, which is X dollars. So we need an expression for 8.5% of X. 8.5% as a decimal would be 0 0.085 or 0 0.085. So the expression is 0 0.085 times x, normally written as 0 0.085x. Next, Alicia invested money in two mutual funds. During the first year, fund A earned 5% interest and fund B earned 7% interest. Write an expression for the total amount of interest Alicia earned from both accounts. So we're assuming the variable A represents the beginning balance of fund A and the variable B represents the beginning balance of fund B, which means we need an expression for 5% of A plus 7% of B. To find 5% of A, we convert 5% to a decimal and multiply by A. So that would be 0 0.05 or 0 0.05 times A plus 7% of B would be 0 0.07 times B. So our expression will be written as 0 0.05A plus 0 0.07B. For our last scenario, Justin invested money into two mutual funds. During the first year, fund X earned 8% profit, while fund Y suffered a 6% loss. Write an algebraic expression representing Justin's total profit or loss from both accounts. And again, we'll assume the variable X represents the beginning balance of fund X, and Y represents the beginning balance of fund Y. So fund X earns 8% interest, so we need an expression for 8% of X. And then fund Y suffered a 6% loss, so we could say plus negative 6% of Y, but let's just say minus 6% of Y. Again, minus 6% because fund Y suffered a loss. 8% of X would be 0 0.08 times X, and then minus 6% of Y would be minus 0 0.06 times Y. So the expression is 0 0.08 X minus 0 0.06 Y. I hope you found this helpful.